boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let me recap my um, last 10 minutes of my life. So, coming home, right, from, doesn't even matter where I'm coming home from. I'm coming home from studying and I pull into my neighborhood and I'm getting out of my car. Let's start with this. I already felt like I was being followed by a car. I was like, yo, like, is this car following me? That's super weird. All right, let me turn off a couple of turns before, you know, my street just to see if this person's following me. Person keeps going straight. No big deal. I guess they're not following me. I hop back on the road and I'm like, all right, so I'm going to go home and we're good. I'm getting out of my car. I'm getting out of my car. And this truck goes by and I'm like, wait, is that, uh, let's call this person David. I'm like, yo, is that David's truck? I'm on the phone. And I'm like, nah, that's not David. I think that is David's truck. And David's truck drives on by like down the neighborhood like a little bit. And then I'm like, why would David be at my house right now? I was like, you know what? Let me go find out if this is David's truck. I hop in my car and I back out. And no sooner than I back out is David's truck coming back down my street. Like basically went down to the end of the street and made a U-turn. David wasn't ready. David didn't anticipate me getting back in my, in my car. So I'm driving down the street and I'm like, yo, this has to be David's car. So I'm not going to lie. I was speeding a little bit to get to the bottom of the neighborhood because I'm like, I didn't know I was speeding because I was like, all right, let me just catch up a little bit. But this David's truck is like going. And I'm like, what the hell? By the time I get to the end of the street, I'm like, yo, like, I think I'm speeding through my neighborhood right now. Like, I can hear my engine going. It's a red light. David hits that red light. He's like, nope, not today. I was like, look both ways. I'm going to hit this light today. I'm uh, today. I, I'm the right one today. Going down Fowler. David's truck. Hits, hits Fowler, it's a red light though, and David's truck is like, oh, I can't get caught at this light because I'm gunning it trying to get away. I am all up David's ass right now. Like, I'm like, that plate, yeah, I definitely know that plate. Actually, I knew that that was David's plate by the time I got to the end of the street because I'm on the phone. I'm like, yo, like, that's David's plate, right? Like, that sounds familiar, right? And I know this this rusty, smudged up looking looking uh emblem on yo yo broke down ass hoopty at this point i'm like I, I know i know this truck and i hit you know the main road and dave was like i'm not getting caught at this red light i'm gonna cut through the corner of a gas station so i don't have to get stuck at this light david hardly even slows the f down i mean like i'm not gonna act like skirt skirt like you know it's like a cop chase and like he literally didn't try like he slowed down a little bit but i'm still coming up david's ass david's like oh let me i'm i'm get, basically this it's a corner like this david comes through this side of the gas station and goes out the other side to avoid having to be at this light i'm like so you can play that game i got you and so like i'm on the phone person on the phone was like no 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 like stop like so david's crazy like let him go because like you you just you just let him go go home just like let it go i'm like what do you mean like what is at my house for david at midnight not a damn thing shit i almost wasn't at my house for me at midnight i just got home so they, I, I'm like, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna let it go. Because at this point, if I've chased you through two lights and we've hit three different roads and you're still speeding away from me, there's not even a question at this point. It's David and David knows like he's busted, he's caught. So my thing is right now, like, I, like I'm really tight about it. Like I'm, 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 I'm upset. It's like, there is nothing here for you. Like there's not. I go out of my way to avoid you out of respect for myself and out of respect for you because I don't fuck with you. So with that being said, it's like, why are you over here technically and legally not doing anything wrong? But I'm like, why are you fucking with me? I ain't got shit for you over here, bro. Like you could be anywhere else. As a matter of fact, you supposed to be out with your bitch somewhere, bro. So what, what are you over here? What are you over here for? Cause even though you didn't say you was gonna be with Shadi, like, it's just assumed that that's where you're at. I don't understand, like, what you're, like, what, like, what is this? Like, I'm gonna pray for you, because this is absolutely ridiculous. Like, you're a pathetic excuse for a human being. Like, I literally do nothing. I might, like, talk my little shit or whatever about, like, how I don't fuck with you, but that's just to further, like, validate, like, what we already knew. Like, I don't like you. Like, at this point, there's no conversation to be had. Like, I don't even, like, go 
to your city because I'm like, there's nothing there for me. Even, you know, like the couple of people that I have in like your city, it's like, I don't even go mess with them because I'm not even trying to be stuck in a light with you. But you all the way in my city, like 45 minutes away, I'll be nice. 30 minutes away without traffic up here at my shit and you was just at your shit that's what blows me eyewitness account says you were just home you were just home like 30 minutes ago so literally you went straight from home where you were last seen to come over to my house for what like what <sighs> this is just my recap because you know, like, when situations are tense, like, and you try to retell a story later, you mess it up. 